my first order of business was lip tars, and I'm sure everybody's seen the lip tars by now, and um, I really wanted to be smart and strategic about which lip tars I purchased. So I got nine of them, and I forgot to get the clear, but um, I went back and I tested it, and I feel like I could really use any clear. So, any clear? Excuse me, my phone's ringing. Because, um, you know, I don't have a jillion dollars to um, buy stuff, so I really wanted to be smart about it. So what did I did? What I did was I bought kind of the basic colors, like the basic um, primary colors, and then just some fun ones that I, you know, didn't want to mix. I'm actually wearing Grandma right now, and that's what I'll start with. It's got Grandma, Anime. It's a I describe it as a bright magenta. Um, Grandma is a um, coral. Yeah, coral. And then I got Hoochie. Um, I got three primary colors. And when I talk about primary, I'm talking about like the color wheel. So I got Not Safe for Work, Traffic, and RX. And that's red, yellow, and blue. And out of these, I can mix in and make tons and tons of other colors. So I got those. And then I did want to get a neutral that had like some color to it. So I got um, Uber. And this one is like a darkened taupe. And then for lightening and darkening, I got um, tarred, and, tarred and feathered. Moving on, um, I stopped by the Face Atelier booth, um, second, I think, and I got two foundations in um, two and three. That's two. It's a small It's a small bottle, but you don't need that much. So then I also grabbed an Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer in um, light. Um, I also went to Stila, and um, they were running out of a lot of stuff. I went there kind of towards the end of the day. And I got a um, convertible color in Petunia. They also, there was another one, it started with a G. I can't remember the name. If I, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to put it like... I also stopped by Crown Brushes. And I got a whole bunch of them. I guess not a whole bunch. This one's like a, a mini... They called it a bronzer, a mini bronzer brush. I like it because it's a shorthand and you can like really get in there. Um, so... That and a little pink kabuki and a small dome brush. Try that one out. And I got what is this one. Okay. I've been kind of looking for one that was like this. Um this is actually really, really soft. So a um tapered blush brush. Smells kind of funky, just so you know. Uh, let's see what else. I got a small, like, pointed pencil brush. A stiff eyebrow brush. I feel like you can never have enough of those. And this is, like, a soft... Ooh, this is really soft. I really like that. Um, I don't know. Shader. Did I get two of these? Oh my gosh, I totally did. <laughs> Alright, well I got two angled eyebrow brushes, whatever. I was so excited. Um, a mini liner brush. Can you see that? Mini liner brush. A precision liner brush. It's hard to see. Here, let me open it up. See, it's really, really tiny, and, um, yeah. And then I also got a big, big fluffy brush, like the biggest, the biggest powder brush that they had. And, um, I really like big, big brushes for face. All right, I also stopped by, um, Munda, Manda Studio. They're based out of L.A., so I don't... I, this was the first time ever hearing the, of them. They got some eyelashes. Those. 
thought they were pretty cool. Some feathers. And then some more natural ones. Yeah, I didn't get that many. I just wanted to try them out. And I got um, a couple of spatulas. And a little palette. Um, some little empty palettes for um, like lipsticks or cream products. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. Um, I might melt down some lipsticks and make myself a custom palette. Um, mascara wands. I got like tons and tons of those. <laughs> got a whole bunch of those. Little tiny precise um, Q-tips. I thought these were really cool. I got then I got these mascara wands, and these are like the lash blast, um, like silicone or nylon or something bristles. But that's what these are. They're a little. It's a little smaller. Then I got some lip brushes and some lip gloss wands. Very unexciting. Oh, and I also got one of the pretty Z palettes. Aren't they pretty? I already have one, but it's just a black one. I got it before um, the cool ones came out, so. The um, original model in a bottle spray. I think the name's adorable. I got the Super Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Brow sealer with two brushes. I don't know what that's about, but. And an eyelash curler with little fiber brushes, but they're. I don't know. Gotta figure out how they're intended on what their intended use is. So I got two of those. This one's weird. Look at this guy. It's like. I don't know. I have to figure it out. So, that's those. And then what was really cool is L'Oreal was actually not selling anything. They were just giving it away. So, um, that was really cool. So, I got a little swag bag from there. I got some original Voluminous mascara in black. The um, Lash Boosting Power System, 24-hour system. Two... Hip Duos, and these are the Metallic Shadow Duos, and this is Platinum, and it's like a silver, um, and then a sparkly black, and then this is Gilded, and it's a gold, and then a lightened black kind of bronze. Two of the Color Presso Lip Gloss Duos in um, Chic and Spunky. Spunky sounds gross. I think of... Bunk. Yuck. So that's all I got. I know it's not very exciting. It's not that much stuff. Um, but the stuff that I did get, I really tried to do like strategic buying. Like things that kind of introduced me to brands more than, you know, just buying to buy a steak. I didn't buy any Inglot. Um, I couldn't even look at the products because it was so busy. And um, I have an Inglot you know, in Times Square, so if I need to buy Inglot, I can any time of the day. Um, and I just want to show you guys my cool nails. They've kind of, like, chipped off a little bit, but um, I use these fun sparkles, <sighs> sprinkles. Got these at Sally's, so I think they're fun. I I'll put a picture up. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about the makeup show, feel free to ask. That's it. Bye.